Godzilla vs. Kong Theory. New trailer reveals Kong's ending. Subscribe my channel and press notification bell to all if you are new here. A new trailer for Godzilla vs. Kong may have just spoiled how Kong's story ends. The new trailer for the upcoming fourth installment in the MonsterVerse highlights how the story, and cast, is divided by the fight between the titular titans. Not unlike the fanbase themselves, the characters are grouped into Team Kong, or Team Godzilla, and will be sent on separate paths that eventually converge. Based on what's been said about the movie so far, it's become clear Monarch and many of the human characters will regard Kong as a hero and their best hope of saving the planet. While working with a young girl who shares a deep bond with Kong, the human protagonists will attempt to give aid to Kong, who is seen as a sympathetic figure. Perceived as the villain is Godzilla, who has turned against human civilization for mysterious reasons. The fight on top of the battleship in the first trailer also hints at Godzilla being the instigator of the conflict with Kong. It appears their clash with each other will stem from an ancient rivalry that's been going on for thousands of years. Apparently, their ancestors were involved in a titan war, and now the two will be continuing their fight. Godzilla vs. Kong is expected to take Kong and the humans on a journey to learn more about this titan war, discovering the truth about the origins of the titans and exploring the hollow earth. It's during this time Kong may acquire the powerful axe he'll use to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the king of the monsters. How their fight plays out and what happens after that remains to be seen, but the new, Team Kong vs. Team Godzilla, trailer may have revealed how Kong's story will wrap up. Does the new Godzilla vs. Kong trailer tease Kong's ending? The footage shown between 127 to 129 could be taken from Godzilla vs. Kong's ending, via YouTube. Here. Four of the human characters seem to be at an outpost in a snowy environment. It can be assumed by the emphatic hand gestures of Jock Kaylee Hoddle, the girl who can speak to Kong via sign language, that it's the Titan who has their attention. The next shot shows Kong standing in the snow, presumably looking back at them. It's possible what this footage is actually showing is the humans bidding farewell to Kong, whose battle with Godzilla has recently concluded. That does seem plausible, since this location doesn't look to be the setting for any of the action shown off in the multiple trailers and TV spots. That could be because this place is only visited in the movie's final minutes. Does Kong find a new home in GBK? Godzilla vs. Kong gets new TV spot showing the ape captured. Ja and the others saying goodbye to Kong in the snow would naturally raise questions about why Kong's journey ends there, of all places. After all, Kong has been living on Skull Island all his life, as did his parents. As the island's self-appointed protector, he's been keeping it and its inhabitants safe from the Skullcrawlers since his earliest years. It's known he'll be taken away from it in chains by Monarch or Apex, possibly as bait for Godzilla, but what's not clear is why he wouldn't go back. It could be that the answer to this question is related to tragic events that take place in the movie. It could be that Skull Island will be destroyed early in Godzilla vs. Kong. Details about the plot have revealed the movie will begin with efforts to stop a global threat, on Skull Island, which is the location of an entry point to the Hollow Earth Tunnels, via coming soon. Net. The island, which has been described as an example of what happens when the world of the Hollow Earth could expand to the surface, could become a target of the humans. They could believe Skull Island's mere existence puts them all in danger. The Godzilla, King of the Monsters credits reinforces that notion, as one news article claimed that Titans are being drawn towards Skull Island. It could be that more keep popping out of the tunnel and this could keep happening until Monarch is forced to take preemptive measures. If so, they may decide the best course is to eliminate any future problems by destroying the island and sealing the entry point for good.